Phoenix and Paper Close to it under one coming up to the pit as well. The oh, where'd he go? There. Flight's gonna go down, and the roll's taken oh by the gun! He goes over the steel! Zero. It's not an easy kill. It's no way an easy kill for them to pick off either. And the mid lane as well. Red 2 does get punished by Ovid. Has ult ready. Red 2 trying to get the ult oh, the tower by Ovid. And not throwing in the ulti just quite yet. Waiting for the Rolling Thunder. Void Spirit has taken a calm. He's still got an astral got step, but he might frost. have to use an Ovid. Finally gets the dodge out, but Bloody 9 not going to be close enough. And Red 2 looking for the kill, but the astral step once again from Ovid. Gets him to safety. Piranha will die under the tower. And the lasso as well onto the Lich as that flame break will connect. And they will get Bloody 9 out of the Red way. Two. Red 2. He's got Swashbuck already. Needs a perfect connection. It's not enough damage. One more hit. Oh, he's still there. It's one more on top of the one more, and it's not going to be enough for it. Zeus, none of the swashbuckle ready, and Arben, oh, oh, there's a similar getting schooled, getting outplayed. Red 2 going to get killed by Fly at this pace. No connection, he gets the kill. It's a yeah, it's technically a fair thing to say. And Arteezy, oh. does he want to do this? Oh, Red. Red 2 also dying at the same time as the fight in top. Arteezy under the Arteezy. tower going through Bloody 9. Requiem just in time. Surviving for the kill, DNM. Oh, his right clicks are getting blocked by the arena. Oh, got arrow arrowed. connected from crit. Oh, DNM. Last off will. Miss, now Arteezy's coming out as well. They've got the Underwood coming in for the back. Want to secure this kill onto crit with the help of Red 2. Firestorm not going to be connecting an RTZ. He's got some backup now. They might be able to kill the Underlord, but no, they're looking for it. They the got connecting all the red to Arrow coming in as well, but he dodges it with the Swashbuckle just in time, but he can't get out. It's just going to get stomped by so many Rebellion heroes all over the place. And, he and now in there. they got the Focus Fire off, but Ovid's already here. Mine's going to be scouting him out. Moose will locate him, dissimilate. Not into the pit, but close to it. Underworld coming up in the pit as well. The oh, where'd he go? There. Flight's gonna go down, and the rose taken by oh, Ahmed. He goes in for the steal with the help of Saberlight. The Red 2 inside the arena right now with that Rolling Thunder, and they're gonna isolate the Mars. Mars gonna go down, so even with the Aegis, they will lose two heroes, but the cheese taken for the techies. Dark Champ still not done. Red no 2, way. oh, crit, these arrows, this guy, absolute arrow. Bloody Nine trying to bait Shadow Fiend to the high ground here. A couple mines will explode, but he will keep his life intact. Red 2, Bloody Nine both down. Moo is going to be the next one to drop unless he forces out the cheese. He doesn't want to use it now. He okay, did. He's going to have to. He's going to pop oh, it. No, he's, he's going to die anyway. Later. He's still back. Heals out that damage. Crit going to be caught as well on the back lines. Burning down slowly. Arteezy's BKB also running out. He's going to need to back up from Ovid. And here comes Saberlight. Arena. Beautiful one. Catches two. DNM going to get the damage with that focus fire. Mars trying to turn his front towards this uh, Wind Ranger. Keeping himself alive for a bit longer. But Moo's going to go down. And Saberlight still holding his ground. Forcing DNM away with that spear. And Arteezy turning around towards Speed. Speed trying to get out. But no over seal for of you. Your fate is sealed. And so is Red 2's and Rebellion March to the high ground. And with no buybacks on Underlord and Pango, how much damage can Rebellion do here? You are for sure losing this lane, Arax, but you might lose mid on top of this. It's a real possibility here if you can't... Oh, especially Ovid. if your Lich dies here, it's all, but he doesn't care what the Sagus. That's Lich gone for 43 seconds. Not really having the dream laning stage, that's for sure, but speed... He's surviving. Arteezy's good. been doing a really good job. And of course, he got first blood with helps, and that's just... The game is very different. <laughs> very different in terms of initiating, especially when you have those big items picked up later on in this game. Do you even get to that point two. in the river? Big battle. Abed one versus two. Does he school this he one got him again. He's got the first one, and he's looking he's for the second get another, he? He's got nothing to work with except the Shadow Realm, but that Flame Guard, it does run out from Abed, however. It's not looking too hot. Fly's also going to be here just Fly just gonna... took it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, RTZ going two points into the power shot. Seeing a little bit of different build. Oftentimes you will see yeah, one point. as well. Arrow does connect with the blood grenade. Red 2 is going to need to back up, but he's not going to survive this battle. His life is forfeit. Abed looking for the second one with Bloody Nine. Fly is also here with crit. He's going to get it. Dominating spree for him. Abed will go down. Yes. Arteezy, just get the Shackle Shot to cancel the Timber Chain. He's going to get hit by a lot of Maelstrom procs here from Arteezy. He gets healed up by Fly. Silence comes out as well. Targeting the Wind Ranger right now. Speed with that shock. Come get some good burst in. But they can't get the kill just quite yet. Fly giving it some extra. 
but they will lose speed. They're going to lose Red Tomb in the river, and the uh, he's trying his then. best, but he's stunned up, and he's going for the run away. Moose trying to help him out with the Bramble Maze, and Ahmed looking for that slight, but he's still four seconds on cooldown. Goes for the dive, but the Remnant gets stunned up. Chains comes out as well. Power shot, and Ahmed slices him down with those right clicks. Dodging out the stun as well. Looking for the kill on Moose, but he's still tanking the tower. Heavy Ed's coming in. Ahmed's going to go down, but Moose is going to clean out protection to make his way out. Next target to be found, DNF. Maybe he gets a kill of crit, trying his hardest. Global Silence, and he's gonna get it. There you go. Solid streak being cut away, and Silence are gonna be caught right after. Ahmed also takes down Moose. Speed's trying to turn around. He wants this RTC kill. He really wants it. He's Lock. taking more damage than he's dealing. Ahmed, 10, oh, and... Okay, Magnus, we got the damage for this? Uh, uh no. With a long stun, pushing him closer to Abed. He's out. He got the BKB though. I'm, I'm really just looking at DNF at this point. Like, where, when does he go in and what does he do? I feel like he's got the biggest. There it is. I'll put an impact. Speed, gonna get caught by the arrow. He's found he fly, but at the same time, they're gonna lose the timber saw. Gets Pavis buffed by Bloody Nine, but it's not gonna be enough. And now he's hunted down by the Ember Spirit. Oops. Oh, and the Ember, trying to get some early damage. It's just tower helping him out here. Abed does drop low, but he wants this kill on the Silencer. Global Silence being popped as well. DNM, he's back in, and he's going to go start slicing. And oh, Focus Fire is going to lose his HP to RTZ. He was waiting for that Focus Fire all his life, and he got it. Going into the fountain, the fountain here, too. Why not? They got chains available. Yeah, too. Almost getting Abed. Almost getting Abed. Now, the last lane of rack, last lane of racks to fall. Game two was definitely a show from Dog Champ, but Rebellion they took any slim chance away of losing this series in this game three. They've just been uh, in a commanding position from start to finish. 55 kills in 26 minutes. That if they if Dog Champ had a statement in game two, this is a statement from Rebellion to clean out the series. Yeah, it definitely is. So game number one, it wasn't even. Commanding, it looked pretty good for Dog Champ. Sure, they lost the game. Yeah. Game number two, they fought it back and won it. This game number three, though, a massacre. This is maybe what people would have expected for game number two after that rough start in game one. Oh, they brought it back here. Unfortunately, all serious mode for Rebellion here. Like, there's 